So someone just got done saying that Rust and Zig are trying to be edgy because they won't support OOP. And in some sense, I understand that notion. In other senses, I don't. So let me tell you why I think it's actually a good thing what Rust did. One of the most annoying features of all time in anything to do with OOP is not classes. I think classes are fantastic. I like classes. But what I hate is the extends keyword, okay? That is where everything gets, yeah, exactly. That's where everything gets screwed up is inheritance. Nothing is wrong with OOP in the sense of just like, I want classes to represent data, you know, like encapsulation and have both my type and methods tied together. Just fine with that. I don't really have a big problem with that. Some people like their pu uh, cucumbers pickled. I don't. It's just, it, it is what it is. But inheritance is like exactly where the devil happens. But here's the problem. There's always one problem where I can see myself liking inheritance, and this happens every single time, which is with uh, event emitters, right? Or some basic functionality you really want on a class. I wanna be able to call like dot emit from within all my functions, right? And that always, always happens. And then all of a sudden I'm like, damn, I better extend event emitter or whatever, you know, whatever it is in whatever language, right? You always want this thing because it always is just the right thing. I swear it just hurts me emotionally. Uh, well, trace, well, the problem about trace is that you need, you need to also have the underlying like data types, right? So event emitters have some sort of map that, you know, you can log on to specific events, right? And so that always hurts. I, I mean, I guess, yeah, you could do dot events, but still you have to create that property. So everything that needs that property has to do it, right? It still hurts me because I just want to, I want, I want everything. I feel like, I feel like a good level for OOP to, to, to be okay with is that you should never be able to leave more than one level of inheritance. I feel like I could like OOP more if you were uh, maxed out at one level. I feel like most of the things that go wrong is when you leave one level and go to two. You're like, well, okay, everything's an object, and this is a game object, and then game objects have, uh, you know, like a, f a moving game objects and static game objects, and then it's just like, Bruh. it's just a personal opinion. I just, I, I have this problem where I feel like OOP has so many things right about it, but there's just so many things wrong about it. Every time I see the extends keyword, I emotionally lose just a little bit of my soul. You know what I mean? The problem is the interplay of properties and functionality is just really, really hard. You know what I mean? It's just hard. I, you're 100% right. I mean, I think I'm 100% right. I love, oh, I, I, so the thing is, is I really hate keeping track of these flat objects and then the methods to manipulate them, like the, the more peer forms of functional programming. Like, I think Rust did it right. To be completely fair, I think Rust did it right. You have one level and that is it. You have your object, you have the methods it can do, and then you also have proc macros. I, I don't know anything about proc macros. I've never built them, but I understand that they're doing something a little extra, right? I think it would be really sweet to create your own proc macro like emitter. And so you just like emitter on the top of it, it does all the right things, and it makes sure you have everything done, and then uh, you can now emit from your class some sort of events if that's what you wanted to do. Now, it's just how I feel. I know some people hate classes so much they will avoid them at all costs. I just think you create garbage and litter in your code when you do that, right? Some things are just best done, right? Like, have you written WebSockets? WebSockets are just really, really great, you know, for a class, because the problem is you could receive a byte. And so that means you have to accumulate until you hit a message, right? So then you're like, oh, well, you can just use a, you can just use a, a scan. Well, it's just like, yeah, scan filter. Do you really want to? <sighs> Super annoying. Okay. I don't want to do that. Okay. I don't want my state all mixed up, you know, ugh, 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 hate it. There you go. That's all I got to say. That's my hot take. It's probably not all that hot of a take. Is that a hot take? I don't think that's that hot of a take. Is it?